I know this happened a while ago, but the Lakers broadcast caught a scene where LeBron James and an assistant coach were talking to Malik Monk. And so today we're going to talk about what LeBron was telling Monk. Early in the second quarter, the Spurs spaced the floor out so Derek White could set the screen for Keldon Johnson to get Malik Monk on him. Once Johnson got the matchup, he attacks Monk quickly and gets fouled. Now for the next minute or so, there was no dead ball time for the Lakers to discuss with Monk until Howard starts shooting free throws. And here's the gist of what LeBron's saying. Go up, use your body, some force, and use your hit. I So what is LeBron referring to here? Well, in the clip itself, Monk got easily switched on and because of Johnson's size, he was able to get to the rim relatively easy. To prevent mismatches in the pick and roll, you had the defender up on the pick and roll and use their hip to prevent the ball handler to turn the corner. LeBron has made a living off taking advantage of clear mismatches and going to the rim, so he would be one of the best teachers for this pick and roll defense. But someone else that has done this in a textbook manner is Steph Curry. Against the Rockets, notice how Curry comes out really high and sticks out his hip to prevent Harden from turning the corner before getting back to his man. And you'll see it again on this pick and roll as well. And so, how did he do afterwards? Well, in the fourth quarter, there was only one time where Johnson tried taking advantage of Monk. Even though he didn't really apply what LeBron was telling him, Johnson can't spin middle because Podol's in the dunker spot, so he throws up a pretty bad shot. But to Monk's credit, he plays really good defense here. It's clear that White really wants to go right, but Monk rises his hip to stay in front of him. And eventually he has no choice but to go left and into Howard before he loses the ball. But in general, Monk will be the target for a lot of teams down the stretch. The Spurs designed this play well, where AD is spaced out the three-point line, so Monk's the weak side help defender, and he has no chance over Podol. Monk will also need to learn to get over screens, or else the Lakers' defense will have some trouble like it did down the stretch against the Spurs. With that being said, Monk may have less playing time down the stretch when LeBron and Trevor Ariza come back to help with that defense, but for now, keep an eye out on Bleak Monk's development on the defensive end as the season progresses. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.